All right, Greg, I know today did not go what you wanted it to. You said you had your low day that you could win, but it seems like everybody's off a little today. I don't know. Maybe I was off everybody. yesterday, off today. I've been off all week, I guess. It's time for me to go to work. <laughs> I, I don't really know. I'm, I'm pretty lost on the whole largemouth deal. You know, the, uh, the smallmouth are still on the deal, current deal where they were in practice, but I tell you this, I'm kind of surprised even there that I haven't caught a big largemouth because in practice I caught a big one there um, and a big smallmouth. And uh, the largemouth are what got me in that area. The, even the reason I even found the smallmouth deal was I, I was getting large. I'd had like eight bites that afternoon in an area in there and found that deal. And I was like, how cool is that? I'll be able to, you know, because this lake has seems like it has a lot of three and three quarters to six pound largemouth. I say a lot. There's as many fish that size as there are two and a half pounders. And, uh, but I just felt like to win, there are more three and four pound smallmouth than there are, you know what I mean? Like you needed both of them to do well or all one. I, and I kind of thought that coming into it that it was either gonna be an all smallmouth deal or a guy with a mixed bag. I don't think a guy fishing for straight largemouth could win, you know, and uh, I haven't been able to catch the largemouth, so I don't know. I caught him in practice, I had a great practice. So do uh, you think it's a water level situation or just no, the No, nothing's changed. There, there's less current in the river than we had, but I think the biggest deal is, it's one of these deals where I think like, the areas I were fishing didn't have a lot of numbers. They just had big ones and the, it's warmed up so much those fish have moved okay. you know i'm not throwing at a place and not getting bit because he's sitting there not biting i'm throwing at a place and not getting bit because he's not there and i can't see these fish on my active target because they were shallow you know and they're yeah. stuck to the bottom and uh they're not up roaming around because i'd be able to see them if they were you know so uh i'm gonna go back and fish for them again tomorrow i mean i was around some great big ones and, and was catching them a fun way and uh you know, water was 52, 53, and uh, cold, and I was fishing current, and I felt like that cold current was, now the one thing it picked up today was the current in that area because of the rain from this morning. So when I rolled out this afternoon, I looked at some stuff and I was like, man, it's going to be setting up right, you know? So I go back tomorrow and keep my fingers crossed. You know, I don't, I'm, I'm not going out tomorrow thinking I'm going to win the Classic. I'm just going out tomorrow to have a good day, you know, and catch a kind of bag that lives here. It's, it's kind of disappointing so far that really no, other than the smallmouth, there's been no big bags called. This lake's got a lot, got potential for 25 pounds. You know, if a guy could ever rotate around right and fish free enough and, uh, it saluted me, but uh, it is what it is. <laughs> I don't.